Before we get into this video, guys, if you guys are looking to improve your skills in the sticks, I will leave a link down in the description. Go check out Fiddle Grips and use Rich at checkout for 10% off. What's up, guys, and welcome to another updated Legend Review. Today, we're going to be looking at one of my two 10 out of 10s the first time through, Roy Costa, in this beautiful squad that I have kept playing with that has just had so much success, continue to have success with this Costa squad. I only lost once. I won five games. Uh, Rui Costa, guys, is something else on this game. If you have not tried him out, you need to give him a go. I gave him a 10 out of 10 last time. We're going to see what he turns out being um, at the end of this updated Legend Review. Uh, I will tell you right now, he did score less goals and less assists um, in this video. Not by much, um, but uh, that is just to be said. Let's go ahead. We'll take a look at some face card stats. Then we'll take a look at some highlights. Rui Costa has 84 pace, guys. 80 shot, 86 passing. 86 dribbling, 43 defense, and 76 physical. As you guys can see there, in the six games, I scored seven goals and had two assists with Rui Costa. Uh, one goal and one assist down from the last review. But guys, let me tell you, and it probably comes down to user error, which I'm probably going to get a bunch of crap for in the comments down below. Rui Costa was one for five on penalties. I missed four straight penalties to start off, and I finally nailed the fifth one, which you will see in the highlights. He could have had more goals if it wasn't for me, or just bad luck. I'm not sure. But overall, guys, I feel like he kind of took a step back compared to the first one. I'll let you look at the highlights and determine for yourself, and then I'll talk a little bit about his pros and cons. So we're now going to go ahead, guys, take a look at some highlights and get right into the pros and cons-ish for Costa and just the overall player that he is. A nice little steal and goal for Costa right there. For me, the first time through, guys, Costa was the most balanced player I've played with yet uh, so far on FIFA. Um, and guys, he still really is very, very balanced. The one thing um, this time through that kind of disappointed me, he just didn't feel as good as last time. Um, and I know, like I said earlier, you guys are going to give me crap down in the comments for it probably. If I'd have finished more goals, I wouldn't be saying this. Uh, but in overall, guys, he really just did not feel like a threat like he was last time. Now, he did have a nice free kick goal in here, and he sco did score some nice goals. But I would have liked to him for him, excuse me, to contribute a little bit more. Robin scored actually quite a bit of my goals, um, but Costa was there to score some goals as well. Um, I just don't think he was as, I don't know, as much of a threat, like I said, um, la as last time. As you guys see there, a nice little free kick goal from Roy Costa. Let's talk about the pros. I'm kind of getting uh, hard on him, even though he's still going to get a good rating. Uh, Four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. He's got decent pace, guys. A banger of a shot. He's an amazing passer, amazing dribbler. Pretty much everything you need um, in the cam position, as well as being pretty strong, as you guys saw right there. Uh, Rui Costa really does have it all, guys, and it's sad to say that he is not going to get a 10 out of 10 this time. It's actually my first updated Legend Review that has dropped down in rating, probably due in part to me playing with him. I probably didn't play as well as I could have. Like I said, you guys are probably going to fry me down in the comments, but it is what it is. So as you guys can see right there, we're going to look at the first summary. It has the first time through stats and the second time through stats with that 10 out of 10 rating. Now let's take a look at the new rating I've given him. A 9.8 out of 10, guys. Like I said, he scored one less goal and one less assist. He could have had more goals, guys. But for me, um, he just his finishing and just overall play didn't feel the same to me. So that is why I didn't give him a 10 out of 10. Um, as you guys can see in the conclusion, he is an overall balanced player. I just put finishing there because it was questionable for me in this review. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys don't completely disagree with me on Roy Costa. A 9.8 is still a great rating for any player on this game. As always, guys, feedback is appreciated. If you're feeling crazy, hit that like or subscribe, bu uh, subscribe button. Jeez. Um, and let me know who you guys want me to do next. Um, and until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Later.